Hello, my name is Arelis and I will be doing books 1 through 8 of the Odyssey. Uh, first and foremost, our first question is how do the gods and humans interact? For this question, um, there are many ways that the humans and the gods interact. Um, as stated in book number one, Athena does come and talk to Telemachus in a form of one of Odysseus's friends to ensure that he trusts her in what she is saying. Uh, at the time, he does not know that it is Athena. Um, others have speculations because of the way that she just vanishes and how she just appears and her wisdom. Uh, she does appear to be an old man that is wise beyond his years. Um, so this form allows her to talk to Telemachus and his crew to make them trust her and in the journey that they will be taking. So Athena is disguised and she does come into the dreams of Penelope, which is Odysseus's wife. And once uh, she finds out that um, Telemachus, when she finds out that Telemachus is gone because one of the women that works there at her home has told her that the men plan to kill Telemachus on his way back home from searching answers about his father. And in this part, um, she is weeping and is just sad about the whole situation, how she has lost her husband and not only her husband, but now she has lost her son and is scared that her son either will not make it back safely or he will make it back safely and will be killed upon arriving because of the suitors that have set up this uh, trap for Telemachus when he is um, back home. So uh, the way that Athena um, interacts with Penelope in this form is by simply um, a thought. She just pops up into her head and that's how she um, conjures her up. Another way that they do interact is by prayer. Prayer is probably the most important to uh, the Greek, to the Greek um, culture. They pray to the gods, and this is how they pray for their safety, they pray for clarity, they pray for basically just for the way that they're living. Praying is, is the ultimate way for them to interact with the gods, and for a fact, the gods will hear them. That is how they do get summoned. Um, another way was through the cloud. Zeus was speaking to uh, I'm thinking it was uh, I totally forgot who it was but Zeus was in the form of a cloud in the night sky and this is how he was speaking to who he was speaking to through not not having to physically be there um, our second question is who do the gods help or hinder so the gods help out Telemachus to the ultimate extent and as well as Odysseus. They do um, they do help Telemachus a lot. The way that Athena helped Telemachus was by pretending she was one of Odysseus's friend and just guiding him the whole way and reassuring him that his father is not dead, giving him just the, the reassurance that that this trip to go to speak to other people that did fight next to his father is not for nothing. So Athena gives clarity to Telemachus and um, Telemachus also uh, prays to Zeus that the suitors will be dealt with in the way that they should for eating out all of his food and his livestock and everything that he has at his home. Um, the other, another way that they also help is by when Odysseus in book seven, in book seven, Odysseus was actually drowning because Poseidon just did not like him. 
So Poseidon did not like Odysseus one bit. So he tried to drown him. So that's when he prayed and he was brought upon shore and was given a cloak and threw the cloak back into the ocean as he was told after he was helped out by the god, the goddess that made sure that he did not drown. Um, so our next question is why did they help? Well, it is unknown as to why the gods take such a liking to Odysseus and Penelope and uh, Telemachus, but they describe Odysseus as a godlike mortal, meaning he was not a god, but he presented godlike uh, characteristics. He was very brave. He gave the values of God and everything that they stand for. Odysseus basically was the embodiment of a god without being immortal. Um, my last and for my last question is, um, what are the divine values? So the divine values throughout the entire Odyssey is going to be loyalty, family, and the most important in my perspective that I have seen was hospitality. Upon arriving, they did not ask, who are you? What do you need? What do you want? They say, we feast first, and then after we eat and have a good time, then I will ask you who you are and what is your business here. And I feel like that part is the most important of what the values are, not only for the humans, but the values of the God is, are also loyalty and hospitality, community, family, and the, the last value of humans would probably be um, the respect they have for the gods and the loyalty they have to the gods. Because some of these places that they have stopped at, they have prayed to, example, they have prayed to Poseidon and um, they do rituals and their whole lives revolve around pleasing the gods and that is what the mortals are actually made for. Zeus created the mortals to take on all of the baggage that the gods didn't want to take care of. So the humans endure everything that the gods just, they didn't want to, they didn't want to take care of at all. Um, so lastly for my presentation, But thank you for listening to my uh, presentation. I hope you found it informative. I hope you um, found it valuable into helping you for the rest of your pr presentations. Thank you.